Nigerian bonds ended Thursday's trading session on a bearish note as the all share index plunged by 0.40 percent to close at 39,364 index points, as against the minus 0.44 percent drop observed um, on Wednesday, which was like yesterday. Investors lose investors' losses rather today stood at 84 billion naira as the market capitalization closed at 20 trillion naira, as you can see right here. The market breadth index was negative with 30 losers against 14 gainers. The downturn was driven by selling pressure on equities, especially as blue chip stocks continues to outweigh buying pressure. Moving on now on our losers list today, Fitting led our losers list and it was closely followed by Nigeria Flour Mills PLC with a combined one era 19 cover game loss as we can see here. It's closely followed by Nigerian NML where PLC and NEM Insurance rounded up the list of four with a combined two Naira 39 cover loss. On the other hand, University Press PLC recorded the highest price gain to lead our gainers table today, followed by Morrison Industries, CAP and WAPCO rounded up our gainers list with a combined one Naira 70 cover gain. As we can see right here, market summary is a total volume of 439 million units of shares valued at 4 billion naira exchanging hands at 5468 deals moving on now to our foreign scene on the foreign market today the london stocks FTSE has fallen for the first time this week after inflation fares caused wall street sell-off it recorded a 0.37 percent decline meanwhile the dow jones maintained um, gains from previous session ahead of ahead of uh, fed chairman jerome powell's speech as the 10-year treasury yield rose and it recorded a 0.39% increase. Unfortunately, however, Japan stocks Nikkei could not manage to keep uh, its head above water as it recorded a 0. Point, sorry, a 1.1% loss. That's all on stock market review.